Hello and welcome. My name's Emily and today we continue with learning English tenses and we will learn the past simple tense. From the name of past simple tense, we understand that this tense should be used when we speak about simple actions that have happened in an indefinite moment of time in the past. To learn past simple tense, the best way is to learn two things. The first is the common situations when past simple tense is used. And the second is how past simple tense is formed. Now, let's look at the cases when we use past simple tense. Please do try to memorise them. We use past simple tense when we talk about an event that finished in the past and is not related to the present. I lost my key yesterday. Christopher Columbus discovered America. I saw my teacher last Friday. So you see, we can point the time in the past. We use such um, markers as yesterday, last year, in 1998, and so on and so forth. Or just imply the time in the past, like the following example. I played the guitar when I was young. We used past simple tense when we talk about long actions in the past, which began and ended in the past. For example, she lived in Dublin for two years. I studied English for one month. We used past simple tense when we talk about habits that ended in the past. For example, I often played basketball when I was a student. My mother always told me a fairy tale at bedtime. Note here the time markers can be used, for example, always, often. Next, what we should learn is how the past simple tense is formed. It is easy. Positive sentence is formed upon the formula subject plus verb plus other parts. The same formula as for present simple tense, but when we speak about the past, we use the verb in the past form. Do you remember that all verbs are forming the past forms in different ways? Yes? Brilliant. Well, maybe it's worth remembering that verbs are divided into two groups, regular and irregular. Regular verbs are the verbs which form the past form, second form, by adding ed to the first form of the verb, the infinitive without the particle to. Irregular verbs, these are the verbs which build their forms not like the regular verbs. There are no rules for irregular verbs. These verbs have to be learned by heart. I'll give you some examples. I visited my friend yesterday. Visit, the regular verb. He went out immediately. We use the irregular verb. What about questions and negative in the past? For the past, we use the auxiliary verb did. By the way, this is the second form of the irregular verb do. Try and memorise do, did, done. For question, we put did at the beginning of the sentence. Note that if we use the auxiliary verb, the verb is used in the present form. Look at the examples. Did he write a report? Did you stay in a hotel last Sunday? For negative, we used not, of course. I did not drive a car yesterday. They did not go to university last Saturday. Well done, that's excellent. So when we want to talk about actions in the non-specified moment in the past, we should use past simple tense groups. I would recommend you to practice past simple tenses by commenting on your past actions and what you did. For example, what you did yesterday or last week, last month. 
Here's a little example. Yesterday, I came home from work at 5 p.m. My wife cooked the dinner. She did not book the hotel for the holiday. My son played guitar when he was young. I learnt English for two months last summer. He did not like that movie. My daughter passed her final exam. Now, please feel free to rewind this video as many times as you need to and try and memorise when the past simple tense is used. Also, please use the book Usage of English Tenses to learn them in a simple and easy way. The book will help you to learn all about each of the English tenses. And finally, let's remember those proverbs. Now, as you know, they can be extremely instructive. And today's one is actions speak louder than words. And most importantly, we always remember that practice, it really does make perfect. Goodbye, everyone, for now. I'll see you all very soon.